All right, good day, everybody. We've had to do a side mission, and then we'll do the Hosea mission. So off we go. A giggity morning, everybody. <laughs> He's drunk and an asshole. You look awesome. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be gentle. Jeremiah Compson. Compson stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's Stead. It's a, it's north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. And we're gonna go and pick that stuff up for you. Let's go. Hey, everybody. Like I said, I'm getting this this mission done over and done with because I don't want to be wasting any time down here yeah. uh, what, got like three more days until I don't know how many more days until God of War Ragnarok but I gotta get this finished So then I can go from this game to Ragnarok. Just oh yeah, I'm leasing these ones in November, but I'm filming them back in October. I hope you guys also do another favor, big favor for me, and that is hit the subscribe button and and hit the bell for notifications. And what else? I guess like and share. Alright, we're here. I guess we go around and see if we can go through the front door. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk. November 18th, 1895. Well, that's a nice letter, I guess, for eviction. I didn't know they started doing that back in 1899. I guess they would. If you didn't pay off the loan.
Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. Cute. Even if I know you're already a slave and you hold slaves in that. <sighs> That's probably before the Civil War, so that means he was a slave owner. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work to be done here at Plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us. Yep. And the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Yep, definitely a slave owner. Plantation, yeah. Especially down near roads and that, you would be. Because we're about to meet the Braithwaites in the story mode, so. Seems like someone's living here. What's this? Another letter? Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. Okay, bit ominous, I do not really want to know why that's there, but someone will probably turn it into a, a sex dungeon about 100 years later. <laughs> I'm not joking. Oh, I am a little bit. What you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah, easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah, son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it. Damn it. Come on, man. I really Here wish go. Rockstar would add in, Come on. you know, revolvers like that. I know it'd be the slowest reloading type thing, but and be a one-shot pistol, but it'd just be kind of fun to add in, like all the old stuff like even adding ponchos for the story mode would be so good because I hate playing with the revolvers that you get stuck with in the story mode if you got like a revolver that you don't mind coming back to it wouldn't be a a hassle and if you're trying to make make it like a civil war outfit or something like that it'd be go perfect with the gun that you like if you could like buy another version of this gun after you've done this side mission would be perfect Like, yes, it'd be a, uh, like I said before, one shot, but I'm just saying, like, how fun would it be? Because the shot would be, like, almost like shotgun, so it'd be straight up instant. Okay. Yeah. Well, 
that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. God. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Because I just... Uh, this is another thing I'm, I'm going to crack about, the story mode. It's... By clothing and guns and weaponry, suck. Between the story mode and the fucking online mode. I've played around in the online mode. I, f I find it fun, but I just... I don't... Like how... Even, this is the thing I'm most complaining about is... They've... They, um... Basically took weapons right in GTA. They took all the online weapons and that to the story mode with no failure. So why couldn't they, you know, not done the same thing? Like gave us the navy revolver, but just you know, tamp it down a little bit. It's still powerful enough, but tamp it down to a point where it's not gonna, you know, it's just not going to be overpowering and it's not a gun you will use for the whole story and if you do use it for the whole story then then at least make it like a chapter 2 gun you know you can unlock that chapter 2 then make ponchos and that unlocked in chapter 3 or 4 creating a way of story that no one will times was perfect I ain't saying that it's just oh man oh man you sh show some respect I was respected once I had a profession you asked me to get you something there's no bringing back what I want I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? I think. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, do they are pissing. What are you doing? That's that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist. Oh. Another thing, what I'd like to do the customization in the um in the story mode is for the guns to like have a customization meaning is like a, a way like to customize the trigger guard <laughs> he died from that? What the fuck? Yeah, anywhere else would die.
But yeah, the customize the trigger guard would be alright because it just doesn't make sense why the hell would you customize the whole thing when you can't customize a pistol like if you want to customize a pistol to the like point where you want if you want to make one part black and like have a, the trigger guard gold you can do that on online so why can't we do that as well for the story mode it makes no sense on on anything else that's that's the thing I just want to say like it makes no sense on giving one thing are able to like to give one thing are able to customize in that but give another thing you basically not giving like it makes it makes no sense because you you want to make the game feel more realistic so you make the online more realistic in some ways and you make the story mode not really like how can I explain this? Here we go. I have this revolver, right? I've pimped it out to the point where I don't really care. It doesn't look like it has, but I've made it all black. But I wanted to make the trigger guard gold. Because that's how I would look at it. Look at it. I want to make the trigger guard gold and the, and the hammer gold because because that's the two things you can see and it makes it look shiny where and then and that's the thing and different grips I've had to I've had to acquire John's John Marson's pistol to have the same effect but different grips because it's ivory grip grip Or Flacco and Enders if I wanted a different colour for a different grip. What I'm saying is why should we be as the story mode players or you know people who play the story mode because they're playing on PlayStation and they don't really have enough money to play on online because the online price for a PlayStation is fucking ridiculous. I'm not even joking, like to just I don't know I don't know what to say anymore. It's just one of those bullsh bullshit things that Rockstar you know well, the playing, the planning on you know focusing on GTA 6, but they couldn't add like one more update to the story mode, and, and that's for better customization and in your guns and your weapons, and you know your clothing items and all that. You don't have to add in the whole online things, but add in like. Fucking better, better options. Like I want to be able to walk around with Arthur Morgan with a fucking poncho, and you could walk around with John Marston in the first game with a poncho on, and it didn't matter. I want to be able to do that again, and like have different gun belts as well. You can buy it at the store. Would be a, you know, you can still go out and do all the um, challenges, right? If you want the challenge-specific variant version, but you can go out and get like a version of whatever, basically. That's enough for me. I'm gonna stop rambling on. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it, they must have someone to sell it to. Stuff looked kind of lonely out here. 
I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you wrecked. Positioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor I ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's out <laughs> well, with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me I couldn't see your name on it oh relax I ain't here to rob you <laughs> oh it seems that's easy enough <laughs> why not do a deal what do you sell that stuff for dollar a bottle you give us 50 cents it's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, I, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Road Saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those cars. You can play games there? Got close to a thousand for them. Wanted more, but not that considering how hot they were. Is it just me or do I just see you can like play games there? So what if you do a mission there and then come back a bit later then you can like play thing of dominoes? It's kind of cool. Alright. 
This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing just You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Jose, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. What about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Broke poor mammy's heart. Ah. There, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad, now. Huh? Man, I love Hosea. He can create things off the top of his head really fucking fast. But I think this is the f thing what he was gonna do with John. Before Dutch. Asked him to do something else. But I really, really wish we got to keep this straw hat. I'm not even joking, I really, really, I really do wish that we could because I'd like to create another outfit where we can ha we have to we use a straw hat and can't really find any other straw hats except for the dude who yells at Gavin it's fitting I'm playing idiot, dumbass. Motherfucking cunt. Shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come on, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Milton. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. 
gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 oh. Over a few bottles of booze? 
I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Ha! Okay. Pull off the road here. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertise. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some... Inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them... Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. 